We've installed all the dependencies for our project. Now we can clear out the logging in our terminal and remove any git files we might have brought down when we cloned this repo with rm-rf.git. This will remove any git files in our project. We don't want to use someone else's version control, but if you want to initialize git, you can just run git init, set up file tracking, then we'll run npm start to start up our development server. That should start up at localhost 3000 and show the home page, the styles for the home page of create react app. So we used create react app to bootstrap all these starting project files and we'll go into the source folder into app.js and remove all the markup within the div tags. We'll replace that with the text of app, we'll remove the class name of app, and remove the logo import up at the top and delete the logo.svg file within the source folder as well. We want to remove any initial styles so go to app.css clear out all the style rules there. We're going to create a new folder in the source folder for all of our components so this will be called components and we'll drag in app.js and app.css into this newly created folder. Then since we changed the path of app going to within index.js change the app path to slash components slash app save all of our files and we should see on the home page just the text of app in the top left hand corner now let's set up some routing for our application we'll import a few things from the package react router dom we'll first grab browser router and rename it as router as well as the switch and route components for our individual routes. We'll house all of our routes within a stateless functional component called root. All of our individual routes will be within a switch component that's within the router component. Our first route will be the root route. We'll give it a path of just forward slash and connect it to the component app. Now we want to render root instead of app since app is now a route. We'll save that and we should still see app, the app text on our home page. We're going to create a new folder within our components folder called auth. We're going to add the files for the components login and register to that auth folder. And within register we'll import react up at the top this will be a stateful component. So we'll say class register extends react.component. We'll have its necessary render function as well as the return. For now, we'll just return a div with the text of register and export at the bottom with export default the register component. Grab all the markup that we just wrote and paste it within login. We'll change the class to login, the text to login and the export to the login component. Then we'll create routes for both of these new components within our index file. We'll create a route with the path of login that'll reference the login component and a path of register with the component of register. And we'll bring in both of those components into index.js. We'll import login from components auth login. You can copy that and change the path to slash register at the end and the name to register. And we want to add the exact keyword on the root path to make sure that we're not matching multiple components which is what the switch component will do if we don't have that exact keyword there. Then we can within our browser go to login and the register routes. 